The beaches of Santa Barbara and Ventura have long been known for their beauty, their wildlife, and for attracting many tourists and surfers each and every year. Now, however, they're becoming known for something else. My name is Blake Benlin, and I'm here today spreading awareness of the natural phenomenon domoic acid poisoning, also commonly known as red tide. Unless you spend a lot of time on a beach or in a laboratory, you probably don't know that domoic acid is a neurotoxin produced by algae that accumulates in shellfish, sardines, and anchovies. And domoic acid poisoning, or DAP, occurs when creatures such as birds or marine mammals consume food containing domoic acid. A study conducted by UC San Diego in 2008 found that the cause of domoic acid blooms is a mystery, as are the reasons for their duration. It is not yet known what can be done to treat or prevent domoic acid poisoning in marine mammals. Not only can DAP cause serious disruptions in the fishing industry, but its effects are painfully apparent in the wildlife that depends on fish and other plankton eaters. It's been a tough year for the local loon and gannet populations, as thousands have been reported dead already from the effects of domoic acid. Even the seal and dolphin populations have been noticeably affected by harmful blooming algae. California is not alone. According to a study conducted by Florida's Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, mass die-offs of coastal seabirds and shorebirds are very common during domoic acid blooms. As a neurotoxin, domoic acid viciously attacks the brain and central nervous system while rapidly depleting the animal of water. Sick birds will exhibit an inability to stand, slumping of the head, weakness, seizures, dehydration, reluctance to fly, nasal and oral discharge, beaching in aquatic birds, such as loons or gannets, and ultimately death. In marine mammals, such as dolphins and sea lions, symptoms are similar to those of birds, and these mammals will often strand themselves on beaches until they feel better or perish. It is extremely important to remember that domoic acid poisoning is dangerous, even to humans in high doses. Whenever handling any animal affected by DAP, make sure to take the proper precautions. Wear gloves, for instance, and never put yourself in danger when dealing with a wild animal. To report a live marine mammal stranding in Ventura or Santa Barbara counties, please call the Channel Islands Marine and Wildlife Institute. To report a bird in distress, call the Santa Barbara Wildlife Care Network hotline. You can help with the relief effort by volunteering or donating supplies. Manpower and supplies such as cardboard boxes, towels, blankets, rags, gloves, kennels, nets, and sheets all help mitigate the effects of this naturally occurring phenomenon. If you are interested in furthering research on natural phenomena such as domoic acid poisoning, please support organizations such as the Southern California Coastal Ocean Observing System, or SCCOOS, and visit their website below. Thanks for watching this PSA. My name's Blake Benlin, and I'd like to give a special thanks to all the volunteers who work very hard to rescue and transport animals affected by DAP, and to everyone who made this video possible.